Welcome to Deathwatch Gaming's Building Breach tutorial. In this short video, we aim to provide clear and concise instructions on how to properly execute a building breach and then defend it after capture. The squad advances towards the building, laying down suppressive fire on the doorway and windows as they advance. Once they reach the doorway, they adopt the standard breaching formation. Four squad members located at positions 1 and 2 on the right and the others located at positions 3 and 4 on the left. This technique is known as slicing the pie. These four individuals are able to fire into the room to keep the enemies pinned inside without exposing themselves to return fire. Notice how none of them actually stand directly in the doorway. When Soldier 1 sees an opening, he takes the initiative, preparing to throw a concussion grenade into the room whilst alerting the rest of the squad. Soldiers at position 1 and 3 throw their grenades through the door in one swift motion to limit the amount of fire they take. Once the grenades detonate, they move into the building. Notice how 3 and 4 stay to the left, and 1 and 2 stay to the right. This allows them to have a clear field of fire against opponents inside the room, whilst also keeping the doorway clear for the rest of the squad to move in. 1 and 2 move up to the stairs on the right hand side of the room, and again throw grenades up the staircase. Once the grenades detonate, they push up, with one hugging the left wall and two on the right, again providing a clear line of fire down the middle of the stairs for allies to advance. Notice how there is limited sprinting. This allows their squad mates to stay tight behind them and provide additional fire support. Now, here's what their opponents would see. You'll notice that the concussion grenade would stun all enemies within the large entry hall of the building. Notice again how they stay out of the centre of the room to avoid cutting across each other's lanes of fire. Once the entry room is secure, they stack up on the stairs, one and two on the left, and three on the right. Four moves behind them, covering their rear in the event of an enemy counterattack. As the squad approaches the doorway to the second room upstairs, one and two assume a breaching position once more, and slice the pie again. This technique can be used on every doorway in the game. Take note of how 3 and 4 provide covering fire on the roof access staircase and the stairs behind them to keep the squad covered from all angles of attack. Sometimes heavier equipment is required to breach a particularly well fortified enemy position. Our friendly scythe provides suppressive fire on the doorway as our max unit assumes position 1 outside the door. Take note of how he does not frame himself in the doorway limiting the amount of hostile fire he can receive at any one time. When the squad lead issues the order, the Max uses its charge ability to barrel straight through enemy lines. This is effective, as the Max is a large threat and will draw enemy fire away from the door, allowing the rest of the squad to breach the room with minimal casualties. Once you've taken a building, you'll need to defend it. Building defences are conducted in stages, allowing you to fall back gradually as hostiles push in. This ensures that we are able to whittle the opponent down over time, so we don't have to face their full strength at once. Take note of the positions that 1 and 2 are in. They are covered by the staircase wall, and are able to peek out to fire into the entrance room. This allows them to quickly and efficiently neutralise small groups of hostiles attempting to enter the building. When their position is compromised, either due to a large wave of incoming hostiles, or an enemy max unit, they pull back up the stairs. Notice how 3 and 4 cover their retreat as they pull back up a staircase. Notice again how 3 moves back into cover to allow 2 to take his position. They now have 4 guns trained down the staircase, rather than just the 2. When defending, you need to be aware of your surroundings at all times. An open window could provide a point of attack for enemy light assaults or vehicles. Balconies, unguarded doorways, and roof access stairways are also vulnerable, and if you can see a potential entrance that is unguarded, then you should set up Overwatch to cover that entrance point. This has been a Deathwatch gaming tutorial on building breach defense. Please subscribe to your channel, like, and feel free to apply to join the outfit.